I'll be in my office. I wasn't sure I'd ever wear this shirt again, but here I am. <laughs> Second week with the new gig, and today, heard some really cool news nationally about uh, a product at work. Back to work, and I heard we have a 2022 electric Mustang coming in today, so that sounds, that sounds like fun. Showing up at the office. Saw this one in the service lot, and this one is actually in for service. This is a 2021. Look at that, Mustang, electric. This is the electric Mustang. But, just wait. Speaking of box the box. Interesting design. I mean, it's a crossover, right? It's got the Mustang. Mustang, what do you think? The Mustang. Electric Mustang. Later on that evening, this came in on a truck and rolled into the shop so that uh, one of the techs could remove all the packaging stuff with the sticker. And the windows are tinted and wet, so bear with me, but here's a picture of the sticker as well. Brand new Mach E. This is an MP, instead of miles per gallon on the sticker, this is MPE, right? So how much electricity does it use? This thing uses about $800 worth of electricity a year. Now, your average dryer uses between $100, $130 a year. So about eight times more than your average dryer for drying your clothes is how much it costs to power this vehicle. But it's gonna take about 10.3 hours to charge the vehicle and it goes about 270 miles. Your average gasoline car goes about 300 to 320 miles on a full tank of gas. Also with an electric car, things like turning the heat on is going to affect your mileage, right? Here's the sticker. Wow. 61,000. And that price reflects the GT here. So this is a high-end electric Mustang. So it's pretty competitive with the Tesla. Uh, this one's a little more, it has a 15 inch screen. Actually that screen is bigger than the screen in uh, Tesla, by the way. And right up here is the packaging that we had to remove. The wheels are a little different on this one. Uh, there it is, <laughs> that guy. But this is a pretty cool car. And people complain about, well, it's a sedan, right? It's a four door. Uh, Mustangs aren't four doors, you know? I mean, the internet is going crazy over this. GT. No one freaked out when the Charger added four doors, or did they? I don't know. Maybe the internet wasn't around with as much power back then when the Charger added two more doors. They still called it a Charger. People didn't freak out and go, you can't call it a Charger. It's got four doors. You can't call it a Mustang. It's electric and it has four doors. Like, why not? I think it's cool. I like it. Could they come up with a different name? I don't know. I guess they could. Like maybe the Maverick, right? <laughs> we got the, uh, the the 2022 Ford Maverick, which is a pickup truck now. Yeah, I don't know. Do we really want to bring back the old Ford Maverick? <laughs> Call it an electric? No, I, I I don't know. I like the style. I like the, the three bar taillight style. I like the style of the vehicle. And it won Car and Drivers EV electric vehicle of the year. And it was pitted against all the competitors, right? The Tesla, the e-tron, Jaguar's new plug-in, the the tail of the cat thing. Uh, so that's kind of cool, including a thousand mile test drive. So if people, car and driver, picked the Mustang over all those other vehicles. So there's that. But go ahead and comment below if you like, um, air your grievances, your praises, what have you. What do you think of the electric Mustang? I'd love to hear from you. 
Oh, and subscribe if you're new. Come on. There's a lot of fun going on here. You're going to like it. Hit the, the like button too. Uh, all of y'all appreciate that immensely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around.